Hello guys, welcome to ECGP Presents Tech View, another episode. So, one important thing, um, which is how you can install Windows operating system in a laptop or desktop PC. And um, there's some procedure before you uh, image in any laptop or desktop. Imaging means install the Windows operating system or OS, right? So, what's the prerequisite for that. So if you work for a company, must they have their own customized operating system, which is called the customized image for Windows 10 or Windows 11. So that's what I want to show you. So I have already created two videos. Let's show you my screen. So this is the video before you install something. This is a video. It's not actually required for installing the OS. Uh, Windows Key Finder. So if you do on your home laptop or desktop, if you have a previous Windows with license, then how are you gonna find out the license? That's why I have I have a video for that, how you can find out your uh, Windows license. That's the one video. And then the other video, which is how actually you're gonna install Windows uh, image to uh, laptop, right? Or desktop, right? So before you install, you have to have a bootable disk. But now all the Windows operating system, Windows 10 or 11 is releasing with like more than four gig size. So you cannot create a bootable disk with CD or DVD now anymore. So what do you have to do? How are you gonna create a bootable disk? So you have to have an ISO file or if you work for a company, then you can, um, collect the company's customized image and then create a bootable disk. So how are you going to create a bootable disk in a flash drive? So for that, I have a complete video how to make a bootable USB flash drive with Windows 10 or Windows 11 installation on a PC or laptop, right? So this is the way you can create a bootable disk on a flash drive. So I'll have this video link on my, on my description box. So you can have it as a, your record. And so now today I will show you clearly how you can install it. So I have already created this flash drive, like bootable flash drive. So I'm gonna touch it with my laptop here. See here, I have a laptop here. I have a laptop here. So um, since this is a, an, on the laptop, this is a Dell laptop. So it depends on what kind of laptop, which brand Dell, um, maybe HP, maybe Lenovo, maybe uh, some other brand, but the motherboard, if it is a Dell, Dell has a different, different types of model, different, different types of motherboard, and depends on the different, different motherboard, the key function like F1, F2, F3, all key function is not same as the other vendor, right? Other company. So how are we gonna boot it? So I'll show you right now, I'm going to attach my, um, Flash drive, USB flash drive, okay. So I just attach it and all right. So I'm going to show you actually how you're gonna um, do the BIOS setup for a, 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 any kind of laptop. So this is the Dell laptop. Um, so like, I don't know which laptop you're gonna work. It may be Dell or maybe HP, maybe uh, Lenovo, maybe other um, vendor. It doesn't matter uh, each and every vendor or, or not only each and every vendor. Like say for example, uh, Dell. Dell has a lot of uh, models and each and every models has a different different types of motherboard. And that's why BIOS setup, like for the BIOS option, um, they have a multiple types of uh, key. So some laptop works with F12, you see here, um, F12, um, some like for for BIOS, like the, for boot. Some of the motherboard is it can be HP, it can be uh, Lenovo, or it can be Dell, or it can be other. So F12 is directly take you to the um, boot option, like boot boot from CD or DVD or maybe from your flash drive. It can be show maybe it's not like a uh, hundred percent. And then uh, F11 key, F10 key, F9. F8, F8, sometimes it's work for uh, safe mode and also some 
um, most actually I cannot say most of the uh, bender is I can say maximum uh, they use F2 for bio setup so let's start it and see which um, key can work for the BIOS for this computer okay I'm going to turn off and remember power button and within a few seconds you have to press F2 or F8 whatever you target otherwise you cannot get the BIOS uh, setup so F and then F2 immediately immediately F2 I'm hitting F2 yes I think now I'm able to do that you see here so this is called BIOS you see here each and every computer has this kind of BIOS but the thing is you're gonna you don't gonna get the same options for each laptop or each model so Dell maybe you have a Dell like this maybe your friend has another Dell but the menu is changed because of the motherboard you see here you can change some lot of stuff here uh, advanced option security option and boot option so uh, this this one is a little bit different but usually you should have CD-ROM uh, HDD uh, flash drive but I don't have anything here so this is not showing so at least you should it should show USB because I have attached here USB flash drive so it's supposed to show USB flash drive on the boot, boot options but it's not showing anyway um, if you found any uh, BIOS like that you have to like move the with your arrow key move with your arrow key you have to move that options like if you want to boot from the flash drive then you have to move the flash drive options on the top number one and then number two maybe hdd or maybe something else okay uh so uh, in my case is different so i'm going to hit uh exit but exit see here the first option is exit save saving change right so that's what i'm uh, um, you, you should look for because you want to do some change but i didn't change anyway i'm going to save it and exit so what i'm going to do how i'm going to like boot it up so after i hit enter it's going to be reboot and then within a few seconds i'm going to press f12 here is the f12 button so each and every laptop or desktop or keyboard has f12 button you see here f12 so f12 button and so i'm going to hit enter first yes and see and then f12 you see here I, i'm pressing f12 f12 to get the boot option so it's going to take me directly to the boot option f12 f12 you see here it shows f12 f12 is the boot option you see here f12 is a boot option f2 setup for this computer f okay so now it's showing here uefi boot and another one is called legacy boot so what is the uf uh, uefi boot uefi boot is windows 10 windows 11 is you you need to have a uefi boot option and also it shows usb 1 general u disk and hdd 2 disk because i have my hard disk here and also i have only flash drive here that's why it shows two but if you have a cd-rom attached then it's going to show cd-rom and a lot of stuff is, it can be show so it doesn't matter uh, our target is to install the operating system from this flash drive so we already found the flash drive here so what i can do i can just simply hit it's already selected right you see through the arrow key through the arrow key from your keyboard you can change it you see here you see here you will be able to change it i'm going to change it okay so usb one is already selected because it's number one and i'm going to hit enter key i'm going to hit enter and now it's loading now you don't need to do anything you have to wait a little bit and then you want to see what's going to happen okay it's loading you see here all right so finally we got this screen right so this is the windows setup screen and from here what you want to do you just need to simply click next click next and install
it will take you to the next screen so i'm showing you to install in a laptop or, uh, or desktop the same thing same way so now the um iso file i'm using the one i did uh, like i created a double flash drive that also has a lot of option like you can install windows 10 uh, edition windows 10 educational and windows 10 enterprise windows 10 enterprise n windows 10 pro um, windows 10 pro n windows 10 pro education there is a lot of version here so which one we can uh, install uh, say for example let's go with the pro yeah, like if you want to if you i'm just telling you like um as a tech guy if you work for a company so most of the case you're going to install windows 10 enterprise because in the office environment uh, most of the company they use windows 10 enterprise or windows pro so why they use this because uh, if you want to add your laptop or desktop with the, with the company's um, domain controller with the company's active directory you have to have these two operating system windows 10 or windows um, professional edition 10 professional so it's windows 10 or windows 11 doesn't matter but you need an enterprise or pro edition if you want to add that computer or that laptop or that desktop with the company's active directory so what is the active directory i'm not telling you right now because i have a separate video for that you can watch my video uh, if you want to learn what is the active directory is so you can uh, watch my active directory video from my channel uh okay anyway so i'm going to install windows 10 pro i hit and uh, okay just I, I want to show you actually other thing which is called education uh, education and and also home edition okay i don't have actually home edition here so most of the time whenever you buy a laptop from uh, amazon or maybe uh, from uh, best buy or from our walmart or costco whatever the place you you, you buy a laptop so most of the time you are get, you are getting uh, windows 10 or 11 home edition or sometimes they sell uh, education Okay, anyway, so I'm going to install Windows Pro. It's the same, any 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 operating system um, is the same, it's the same, same way. So, so you have to accept the license terms agreement. Click next. And then you will have two options here. So which one you should click? So all the time, whenever you are installing uh, like fresh installation, then in that time you, you, you all the time you're gonna select the custom uh, custom installation windows only advance the last one or maybe you can say second one okay so now you see here i have a lot of partition here so how is it was partitioned before so how are you gonna do that you can just delete all the partition from here say delete partition yes i'm going to delete everything because i want to uh, recreate the partition I want to show you guys how you're gonna do that partition and also you see here now is unlocated space I'm going to break down the all those existing partition just delete it it's pretty simple Windows installation is pretty simple uh, it's not gonna take you that much long time like maybe 30 minutes to install everything um, and if you work for a company maybe uh, they will have some different options they're gonna install through the some uh, enterprise level tools so you can install operating system you can, that's which is called imaging you can image laptop or desktop multiple desktop or multiple laptop at a time so that that means if you use a application but now we are installing directly uh, which is physically right physically attach a flash drive and we are installing okay delete okay so now uh, i don't have any partition here everything is showing unlocated space and it, it, uh, my total space is 476.9 gigabyte so now i'm going to recreate the partition so click new whenever you recreate it is up to you it's going to show you the 
but the whole space all total space is gonna show you here as a megabyte so now it's your call you wanna keep all together in a one drive that means it's gonna be a c drive which is maximum case oh your laptop has only one drive that means c drive that means you are allowing the whole space as a one drive just hit apply but if you want to make multiple then you can customize it so i'm going to do i'm, I'm actually not doing uh, that much customization i'm just doing a little bit customization which is i'm going to make two drives so instead of four i'm saying okay three that means it's going to give me 376 uh, gigabyte for um c drive and rest 100 not 100 less than 100 um uh, gigabyte maybe 97 gigabyte i'm gonna keep it for another drive it's not mandatory it's up to you okay apply okay so when you select the first drive it's gonna create some other multiple drive you see here recovery uh, partition 2 partition 3 partition 4 so all those automatically happen and now you have another unlocated space here right so how are you gonna do that just click new and this whole thing i want to keep it then just hit apply all right so i have now total two primary drive so now you can install windows either this drive or this drive anyone so anyone will be your c drive but we want to install the uh, os operating system in this drive which has a maximum um storage so which is 378 gigabyte right so we're going to install here i select this one and you can say okay so before you install you can maybe do the format so you can say format and you can do it later on also okay formatted already and click format okay okay format already so now i'm going to select back partition number four which is primary drive and it's going to be on my c drive right and click next okay it's already started and it's going to take maybe uh has 10 minutes it depends on your laptop performance maybe five minutes or maybe 20 minutes maybe 30 minutes not more than that so you have to wait until then so i'm going to pause the video and then uh whenever it's almost done then i'll come back again so the installation is done it's automatically reboot getting ready so it's gonna take a little bit time in the or uh, in this option okay just a moment all right so united states yes us keyboard yes and if you want to add extra keyboard and you can say add lay, uh, layout or you can say skip in my case i just did skip and then it's a let's connect you to a network so now it was looking for connecting me to the network usually um by default to the windows os uh, your network driver should be installed automatically and then network driver means your wi-fi right so wi-fi adapter is supposed to be installed automatically through the operating system but in my case with my laptop some laptop uh, like can like make this kind of problem it's not showing anything it's supposed to show all the wi-fi connections available near to this computer it should show here in this screen but it's not showing that means my uh, wi-fi driver is not installed so i'll show you actually if it, it is the case then how you can find out so i'll show you and then say no and just a moment and see okay it's almost done or desktop support or it support if you work and if you are is if it is there if if it is your responsibility to image laptop or desktop so you should go with this this is which is called individually physical installation or you can go with the company's system which they, if they have any automated system over the LAN or maybe through the uh, some other application or tools that's come different but the installation process is same the same steps the steps i show you almost there the os is almost there okay all right so we get the windows operating system <clears throat> so maybe in your case you maybe if you use the company's uh customized image 
on that customized image maybe they will have uh, um, some other tools installed also it's because I, that's why I'm saying customized image that means maybe they have um, a, a Google Chrome and also maybe some antivirus or something or maybe after you install this you can inst you can install some other tools so for example say um, Google Chrome download Google Chrome so you have to go log in first through this and then oh, because oh, sorry you don't have actually internet that's why I'm not able to do that anyway just think about you have internet you install a lot of other things and then what you gonna do after you done with your all installation what are you gonna do um, you're gonna generalize the windows generalize means you're gonna put it back after you install you're gonna put it back the uh, starting mode option which is I'm gonna show you right now so what you should do after you're done with the installation then go cmd command prompt and then right click run as administrator run as administrator yes and then say um it's already there windows and system 32 if it is not there if if it is like this then you have to go to the windows drive first. so how are we gonna go windows you can say cd space win windows hit enter now we are inside of windows then again cd space system 32 32 right hit enter and now you can say cd sys pre sysprep okay we are inside the sysprep now sysprep dot exe run this one so this is the command you just you need to remember this is the command if you want to do the generalize if you want to generalize the os if you want to hand over the laptop to the user you have to do the generalize so hit enter and see when you hit enter it gives you the generalize options it's a system plane of action enter system out of box enterprise and it says generalize you see here generalize and then you can say shut uh, after the after generalize is done what you should do you wanna reboot it you wanna shut down is up to you so we're gonna reboot it once because i want to um show you actually what's gonna be happen but in your case you can do shutdown because generalize is done and then you can hand over to your customer or your user then whenever they log in is gonna show them to select their wi-fi their user all the stuffs say reboot and okay okay all right so it's now working for generalize so this is how we can do in the meantime it's gonna take time so in the meantime i will show you another command here another command here how are we gonna check um what i said model number right so if you say system info s y s you see it already is there system information and then you're gonna see the model number from here more system model in spare 14 5425 right all right so my generalize option is done okay we are pretty close and now you're gonna see so think about your user or your um, client is opening laptop after you deliver to him or her so he's opening and then it's gonna show it's getting ready the same thing right now when you install it now it's gonna show you the same thing so this is called generalize and it's not mandatory all the time you have to do the, do the generalize uh, it depends if your organization say okay you have to when you delivered you have to generalize your laptop then you're gonna do that otherwise otherwise what are you gonna do basically people do generalize like say for example you are working for um pass by in that case you have to generalize but for the organizations you see here the same options the one you get when you install first time 
now your customer is getting the same screen so if you works for it uh, like any company like amazon or at uh, like uh, best buy or something you are installing the windows operating system in that case you have to generalize like that but if you are for organization in the enterprise level maybe you don't need to do that because you have to add your laptop with the company's domain and then you're gonna log in with your user and when you shut it down you don't need to generalize you just need to hand over to them and they have their own user which is created on the active directory which is created on the active directory so they can they don't need to go through like this they don't need to go through like this you can say yes but now I have to do it again and again but so two options I'm saying you don't need to do this generalization if you work for an enterprise company because enterprise company they use uh, their active directory so for which user you're creating this one which you for which user so now he says asking the name so if you work for like just deploying you want to you're selling a laptop sale or desktop sale company if you work for them then you do the generalize but if you work for a company or enterprise you don't do that okay accept okay accept so actually i'm showing for enterprise also i'm showing for uh if you work for a company everything i'm showing here so again i'm telling you guys if you want to do generalize that means you are what we are like enterprise level you don't need to do, do the generalize for the laptop because you are deploying a laptop for your company's employee he's all he's he has already account in company's active directory so when you hand over the laptop to the company's um, employee they can log in with their user so in that case you don't need to do the generalize almost there almost there all right so everything back online so now i just want to show you one thing like if so the previous options what i did with the generalization that means generalize that means you work for a like pass by or any company who sells the laptop right for the client but now i'm showing if you work for a company enterprise level what are you going to do after you install everything after you install everything you're going to log in with your credential master password or something and then what are you going to do you're going to add the laptop with the domain how are you going to do that how are you going to do that so you say just simply type uh, this computer or something okay this computer i already got it right click on it and go to the right click on it this computer go to the right click and then go to the properties you see properties and then you're gonna see here the computer name here right so just change settings and then change and then you need to change the computer based on the company's um, what is called property tag or something company's property tag you have to change this right and then and then click, click ok it's gonna reboot and after reboot is done then come back the, with the same option so lap, name will be changed and then you say click member or domain and then then type the domain name like for example els.com which is my domain you can say like els.com and with the new name i'm going to remove this laptop name i say um e l s i don't know just like i'm just typing just some random serial number uh five seven one two six seven or something like that i'm just just random name okay click ok but right now i'm not able to add with the domain because i don't have the wi-fi connection because it's, it will not be able to connect with my domain because it's not in the network so i have to install the network driver first then connect with the network then i have to do this 
and when I click on OK, uh, it is a, like type the domain name like this and click OK. It's going to ask for my Active Directory credentials. So I have to provide my administrative credentials and then it, this machine will be added with the domain. So that's the system and that's all. That's all, that's all for today. So this is this video is a complete video for from starting like how you're gonna uh, create a bootable flash drive and then how you're gonna attach it, how you're gonna change the BIOS, how you're gonna install it, and also after installation of the OS or like imaging after imaging, then what tools, what operating, uh, what uh, software you're gonna install, and after software installation, what are you gonna do? It depends on what type of job, what type of company you are working for. So if you work for like laptop or desktop selling company you have to do that generalize after you install but if you work for an enterprise level company you don't need to generalize you just need to add the machine with the domain and after you done then just reboot, uh, uh, shut down the computer and then hand over to your company's employee because the company's employee will have a domain account so he can log in with his username that's the system so that's all. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel and give a big thumbs up. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.